From Studio 3 at Buzz TV, it's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. For another edition of The Horse's Mouth here on Buzz TV, out on location, out on the decks of the USS Orlick in downtown Jacksonville, brought to you by our friends at The Fire Watch. Our guests this time around is Joseph Holbrook and Bob Stockton. Let's welcome the gentlemen to the show. Joe, how you doing, my friend? Welcome I'm back. Doing excellent, You're sir. back again, my man. I'm excited to be back. Always a pleasure to be on your show, sir. Likewise, and thank you for yeah. being here. Thank you for your yeah. service. Remind you. people uh, your service time in the Armed Forces. Yes, I was in the uh, U.S. Navy for six years active, six reserve, and I had the pleasure of serving six years here in Jacksonville nice. on the USS Kennedy uh, at the time, so that's a little way back, yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. definitely enjoyed. And then I spent about six years in reserve units as well. Okay. So. And what'd you do? Uh, what'd you do? In I was an electronics technician. Okay. Uh, so mainly Smart. IT computers, okay. radios, RF signals. Yep. So great time. Learned a lot of new things. Great training. Great yep. time. Saw the world. Pretty much. Nothing wrong with that. Well, exactly. thanks for being here again. Yes, we'll come back, no doubt about it. Bob Stockton is here. Hey, Bob. Hi, Tom. I see the Philadelphia Eagles shirt on. Congratulations. Go Eagles, go. You want to throw a Fly Eagles fly? Fly there? Eagles fly. There you go. I, I, think, was, uh, I was trying to memorize semaphore, but it was too long ago. I yeah, it's go. a long time. We don't, yeah. don't worry about it. I can't yeah. remember anything yeah. either. You know what I mean? But tell us about your time in the service, Bob. Yeah. Thanks for being here, and thank you for your service. Thank you. I am. Uh, I spent 20 years in the Navy, retiring as a chief petty officer in 1977. Okay. And uh, my first ship was a ship much like this one, only it had not been rehabbed and remodeled like the Orlick had with the energy small. Okay. But I have served in diesel electric submarines, uh, patrol gunboats in Vietnam. Jeez. And uh, a number of reconnaissance attack squadrons, carrier based with reconnaissance attack squadrons. Jeez. Been no, here ever since. Nothing much, right? Been here ever since. <laughs> you know, you know, I love this town. Well, thank you for, yeah, uh, first yeah. of all, your service. That's no joke. But how'd you get into that? Like when you when you entered in to the Navy, were you like, that's, the, that's how I'm going to go? Or how, how'd you figure that out? Well, it was either, you know, uh, it was either join the Navy or get thrown out of school. Okay. So Fair. Uh, fair. So Either prison or the Navy. My mother said, Navy. maybe you'll find a, something to do in there. My father said, get him out of here. And uh, yep. so there we go. I, 20 years school. later, I came back out. That's great. Yeah. That's great. What do, you, what do you, when you think about like being on this ship and all the missions it's been on, you've been on a ton. What, what comes to mind? What kind of emotions come to mind? Well, uh, the, <laughs> but you, you tend, I think, when you spend a long time on active service as I did, you, you kind of remember, you throw away the unpleasantness, and you remember some of the, uh, some of the funny stories. You know, for instance, when I came aboard the Ernest G. Small, a ship like this one. Yeah. Uh, my first assignment at 18 years and two weeks was back here on the Fantail in second division. We took care of all the painting and rusting and lifelines in second division. Okay. And our leading PO at the time was a second class boatswain's mate named Dernan from Brooklyn, New York. He had four hash marks, World War II veteran. Okay. And he wanted to take us young kids under his wing. He said, men, when you get aboard this ship, there's three things you young kids don't need. Somebody in the back made the mistake of saying, what's that, Boats? And the Boats of Bay Dern and said, a wife, a car, and a transistor radio. <laughs> Words to live by, 1958. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, great to have you. Thanks for your service. Appreciate you. Big time. What are you doing now other than enjoying this beautiful weather? Well, I, did, I spent 17 years with the pharmaceutical industry, and oh, I've, had, nice. I've had my own uh, small business operation. And for the last dozen years or so, I have uh, written and published some uh, books okay. independently. Now I'm currently cool. with Gatekeeper Press. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Keep it going. Keep writing, right? Yeah. Keep writing chapters is what I was told. Why not? That's right. Well, great to have you. Best of luck with that. Thank you. Joe, how about you, man? Tell us, uh, remind us what you're up to these days. So mainly focused on growing uh, our business, Tech Commanders, trying to uh, add uh, more content to yep. expand the reach in this global world, which just seems to be changing a little bit faster than I could probably adapt to, but we're going to make it work somehow. Yeah. But uh, with that said, that's the goal is uh, growth mode as, as always. Good. 
So uh, that's that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Techcommanders.com. Is that where <laughs> yes, people sir. find you? Yes, All right. sir. Awesome. Yes. Well, great to have you guys. Thank yeah. you so much again for your service and being here on the Thank you. USS Orlick. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It is. No doubt about it. All right. Find out or f see more of these conversations at IWantabuzz.com. Until next time, stay safe and be cool out there. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Cheers.